Sky, Jory Jordan TV. You are all welcome, subscribers, to this special uh, 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 program that we are organizing for you. We are having a few announcements I want you to know. Number one is that Baltimore, Maryland uh, seminar on growing wealth in Baltimore, growing wealth in Maryland. We are going organizing it. It's coming on at the end of this match and so i want you to just stay uh, uh stay tuned and make sure that you listen to every details of this uh, of this uh, program that will be coming on very soon number two new york is coming on at the end of june and so please i want you to stay tuned and so also about the details of this particular program today i'm going to speak to you on finding or growing a side job growing a side job so before we do that please share this video please subscribe and make sure that this goes viral because you need a side job i have been in a situation where government policies have collapsed my businesses i have been in a situation where inside enemies the people that you think they are your friend have been your business i mean feel i have been in a situation where even a relationship has collapsed my business but what has made me suffer is that everybody needs one side job as a secret income that is going to prepare you just in case just in case if your main business or your main job fails that is what you need to understand in the past hundred years there has, there has been 17 recessions, 17 recessions. So anything can happen when it comes to money. Anything can happen, whether in a relationship, whether it, uh, be it um, the best business or job that you have, whether be it um, in, a, in the best environment or the best country that you live in, anything can happen when it comes to money. So you need a side job. You need a side job to make sure that you are glued, you are grounded, you are secured, because when the, that thing happens, all that you have to do is to fall on your second source of revenue. So that is what I'm here to talk about, about the side job, about the side job. You need a side job to make this all work. Apart from your mainstream, I'm gonna start it, so please pay attention. Apart from your mainstream of income, what is going to be like your main job that you work in, I mean, day job that you work from morning to evening to maybe to five o'clock or to six p.m. depending on where you work and what you do. Please, you need to understand that in this kind of revenue that you're making, you need another source of income, which I, I have always advised people that you need a side job. It can be another business that you're establishing yourself, or it can be you using your extra time to work for another person, or it could be inside hustling. That, so those are the things that I'm here to explain and to subscribe to, um, to for you to let you understand. So number one is your main stream of income. That is number one. That is number one. Number two is that inside every business inside every job inside every company there are other revenues that you can make money you need to know it by talking to the hr or talking to the finances there's always another uh, um, policies or another revenue that you can make out of the business for example where I, uh, my, my company um, I made it a policy that if anybody introduces someone to the company, there's a commission or there's a pay that is um, extra uh, commission that is given to you. So, for example, if you are working with a, a marketing company and you bring in a client, there's going to be a, a percentage of money that is given to you based on the how much the person pays, right? The same thing that if you are uh, working in a hiring company, where they recruit workers for people, there's always going to be a, a, a percentage or commission that is given to you if you introduce somebody even to be, uh, to be hired. And those are the kind of revenues that you can make. So these are the core we, what we call the side or the inside uh, hustle that you can make extra income even based on where you work, right? So these are the, that, that is number two. Number three, build on your experience. Whatever you are doing, whatever um, whatever experience that you have, whatever knowledge that you have, all that you have to do is to build your knowledge on it. For example, 
I never went to school. I never uh, uh, did anything relating to sales and marketing. But upon graduation from Central University, I found out about that any kind of business, any kind of work that I applied for, all that they want to do or all that they wanted uh, for at that immediate point was not administration job, but they had they had always available sales and marketing. So then uh, what did I do? I took it upon myself, tried it, and I realized that it was good. So I went further to read about sales and marketing. I went further to associate myself with experienced sales and marketing team, uh, including uh, friends from Joy FM, including friends from Capital in Kumase, and I, I learned the trade in doing radio marketing. I learned the trade when I was in Sky FM. I learned the trade so much so that, that it became an experience that I was teaching people for money. And that made me develop concepts and books and able to have a plan, a, a, a clientele a roadmap for the whole of Takradi so that every new business or radio station that comes into the city of Sekendi Takradi, they come for this masterpiece and they read it and they know that they have this uh, average value, locations and contact numbers of businesses on streets and I had it available. And these are the kind of uh, extra money that you can make if you want to make money out of building your experiences and building your knowledge. If you are a marketing and salesperson, what you can also do is that you can build on this experience and knowledge and have a master class and teach people, or if you're a presenter, or if you're a uh, uh, TV or acting uh, career, you can build your knowledge and experiences on this space and sell it and sell it to people who want to go into acting, people who want to go into radio presentation, people who want to go into sales and marketing. You can sell it for people and you make extra money out of it. The last but not the least is that use your spare time. Use your spare time as an extra revenue so if you know that you close at three o'clock in the afternoon or for example you work in the night you can use your daytime or you can use your night time even to be able to do an extra job and get an extra income of course you need rest but then you need to make enough money or make sure you schedule yourself that you can have rest you can do extra job and you can make yourself successful listen it's not cheap to live a successful and a comfortable life so if you have to make that comfortable life you need to pay the price and what is it you need to make sure that you follow these four steps one get your main job two find extra revenue from your main job three make sure that you use your experiences and your knowledge and to market it to market yourself and to get extra revenue the last, the, lead, the last but not the least is that make sure that whatever you're doing, excuse me, whatever you're doing, make sure that you use extra time, extra re uh, spare time that you have even to, to get um, extra revenue for yourself. This has been Jory Jordan TV. Please look out for 101 Lessons in Marriage. It's coming on very soon. Even in the launching time, we're going to have it at Baltimore. We're going to have it in Maryland. We're going to be great. Please, we're going to make sure that it's available for everybody. It's going to be in Ghana. It's going to be in uh, Nigeria. It's also going to be available on uh, the digital platforms so that you can easily subscribe. You can easily have it. And it's going to be great. Look, please look forward to it. I bless you because you have been always with me. And please follow my wife, Charlotte. Follow her. Uh, even in ministry work, follow her, and she has a great ministry, and she and she's going to be a blessing to you. Thank you so much for joining me once again. God bless you.